Oh my god, look at this! Look at this! Hi, fun with me. Just get a picture of that before it goes away. Oh, I'm fun. Oh. There's no the wet food in here. Sitting. You want to get some wet food before we go? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Can you also? Fine, I got it. Why don't you do something like adjust the camera so? I don't know how you want it. I'm going to sit right here in front of the bean bag. You're going to turn that camera so it faces this way. You're going to do everything else out of the way. Okay. Here's him. Perfect. Looking bunny. You're gonna sit in front of the beanbag, not on. Right. Oh. Sorry, duck. Woody goes wise. Let's do that. He's such a lap cat. Really. Day one. Mm -hmm. Born lap cat. Ba ba. Ba ba. Okay. They leak all the time. They're kittens. Oh, I thought I got the box. I gotta go get the box. Oh, your kitten box? I guess so. Yeah, you know what? I can skip box? it today. I'll, I'll use the knife here. Okay. Okay. Just open it right now and then put it away. Oh, there's the letters too. That's fine. I gotta check the camera angles. Hello, YouTubers. We are here. I need some kittens over this way, though. Do we? Where's the kitten? Why are those two hiding are back there? That doesn't that doesn't That's work. Where they wrestle. Well, they need to come out and wrestle over here. Bring them out. Cheese. Bring out the kittens. Yeah, Bring out the kittens. kittens. Hi, kittens. Let's go over there, kittens. Hi, kids. Hi. Hi, everybody. Look, I got this lap. I know you guys all like to sit in the lap. Look I got on one. The lap. I brought one with me. Pretty good from that angle. Let's see. Oh, I can't connect to the VMC yet because I restarted my phone. Yeah, Hang on, I think I think I can just I might as well just hook it up. Two. Yeah, but just here. Just right here for now. Oh, that's okay. I got it. Put it right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me, but. Um, 
last week I had you take a bunch of notes on uh, things that we needed to talk to people about, right? Yeah. Are any of those still relevant that I should bring up again? Some of that's still relevant, I guess. So I can start by saying Well, okay, so there are some things that I talked about last week. I can talk about it again real quick. Um, first off, a very small mailbag again this week, uh, very, very tiny, and that we like that. I think people are getting the message that we sent out about uh, trying not to send so much stuff for DJ and I. Um, I'll tell you what to do. If there's something that you see out there in the world and you think, wow, DJ and Mr. A really should have that thing, just tell us about it. We'll, we'll get it. If you know, you don't have to get it for us. Um, tell us about it and we'll get it. That's, that's a good way for us to handle that, I think. Um, so you don't have to send us that stuff for us. But uh, what we always appreciate and always will appreciate is stuff for the kitten. Um, especially, um, you know, things that we can send home with the kittens when they're adopted. Or uh, stuff that um, has broad applicability. So if we just end up with too much of it, we can give it to On Angel's Wings or other fosters that we work with at On Angel's Wings. Uh, basically, stuff for kittens is always good, um, really good. So I've got a lap full of cats. Can you turn on that light? Can you turn on that light? We need a little bit more light coming from that direction. You can even turn it this way if you don't want to, but it doesn't matter. Just a little more. Okay, anyway, um, let's see. The other stuff that DJ just mentioned that I should talk about are the fact that um, the emails that go to headmaster at kitten.academy, uh, which is ostensibly uh, Acro's account, are getting answered. They're getting read and responded to, um, not by DJ or I, but by our friend and assistant, Lisa K. She's doing a great job of responding to that stuff, so uh, feel free to email us. And, uh, Lisa, however, is passing on to me the emails that are specific or you know need some special care, and I'm still behind on actually taking care of that, so I apologize again. Hopefully I won't be apologizing again next week because I'm just way behind on it entirely when I fall. Uh, finally, the archives of last week's mailbag and of last week's Q&A session are being uploaded to YouTube right now, so probably by the time we're done with this, um, this short mailbag, uh, at least the mailbag part of that will be up, and I think the uh, Q&A part is uploading as we speak, so anyway, those should be up on YouTube very, very soon, though. I think that's everything. Uh, you all know Dr. Brew came to visit last week. It was such a great visit. Uh, we really, really loved it. So thanks so much for coming, Dr. Brew. And I think some of you know that this coming weekend, obviously not this weekend, but next weekend, I'm going to visit Dr. Brew at her home of uh, Dallas, the Dallas-Fort Worth area anyway. And I'm really excited about it because I've never been to Texas in my life. And uh, Dallas is one of the places that DJ and I are considering spending the rest of our lives after she graduates med school. So this will be my chance to see it and uh, see what I think of it. So very excited about that. Anyway, okay, so. Okay, mailbag is up from last week. So don't watch that, though. If you're watching that, um, you're missing out on this. So watch this one first. Now, I left the mailbag um, toolkit. So there's no mailbag next uh, right. There is no mailbag next week because DJ's not going to do it alone. Wow, thanks for mentioning that. So, yeah, no mailbag next week. I'm glad she thought of that one. Uh, okay, so here is our letter. Oh, or, I know, Fawcett is trying to find me. Um, here's our weekly letter from Mr. Elsocat and Mr. Elsocat's owner. And it's got these 
pretty stickers with some angels on the back. Very cute. What do you think Bye. of that, Tommy? This is Thomas's so. first mailbag. The first mailbag is the bath kitten. So it's a special mailbag, even though there's not much in it. What do you think, kitten? What do you think of a mailbag? All right, let's see. So I'm opening this by hand because I left the mailbag toolkit in the other room, and uh, I just can't be bothered to go get it. That's all. This is really cool. The, the the envelope of this is lined with like um, block letters, like the old printing press letters. You know, they're all wooden block cut. Um, anyway, it's interesting. I don't know why, but it's cool. This says, please give the Paul Beetle card to Jenny D. So that's awesome. We'll do that. And it also says, life isn't about what you have. It's about what you have to give, like gift cards. Oh, thank you, Mr. Elso Cat and owner Michelle. You guys are wonderful. And oh, what is this? This says from Sir Elso Cat to Lady Starbuck Jenny. We also have a collection of collectors Starbucks cards. Here's one that says, here's one that says Happy New Year's 2015. Uh, here's one that is. I don't know, it says it's more than a gift card, but I can't tell. It's a, it's like a weird artistic rendition of the Starbucks um, cup. The, the Starbucks logo, though, is all smeared out. I don't, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know what it means either, but it's cool. Here's one that is a Christmas Starbucks card with a beautiful Christmas tree on it. That's, oh, they have dates on them, too. Let's see. So this, this one is from 2013. And this one with this Christmas tree on it is from 2011. And obviously the one that says Happy New Year's 2015 is from 2014, of course. Which makes too much sense. And then, <laughs> and then we have one uh, with a beautiful painting of a Starbucks on it where the lighting is just gorgeous. And that one is from 2007. And DJ's... No, oh, it's happening. It's happening. DJ's all worried because Thomas is, is going to make a terrible stink right now. Oh, oh, that's a big stink, too. And DJ, yes, is sitting right next to the litter box. I can't smell yet, but I saw it, and it looks like it's going to smell terrible. You're going to help her? <laughs> that might just scare her. Wait, she's not even done yet. Wait for her to finish. Okay. Mr. Elsocat, thank you so much. That uh, Paul Beatles card is really cool, and with the addition of these extra four cards, uh, Jenny now has an official collection. So she started a new hobby today, whether she knows it or not. And we will pass that along to her. I think it's really cool. Oh, that smell. You know, there's Lysol in the closet here. Okay, if you say so. So, uh, here we have a very interesting letter that is um, wrapped in all in plastic. It's like the, the outside and the inside is all very wrapped in plastic. I'm not sure why. Keep it all safe, I guess. And, oh, oh, I know what this is. Oh, so I'm glad it was kept <gasps> safe. Oh, my God. That's, it's amazing. So it's so amazing, and it's on a card. So, um this is the uh, the art that uh, uh, Melody Melody Doll, Melody Doll, yes, Melody Doll did of DJ and I. It's amazing art, and all of the kitties. Yes, all the faculty cats are in it too. So this is me wearing my headphones and a shirt and some jeans, and this is DJ over here with custard, um, being really cute. And it's just the best art. Uh, it's it's so beautiful. I love the sort of the watercolor background and the the strong bold lines and I especially love the fact that Melody Doll has made me so thin and attractive. I look really great on this and uh, I like that about it quite a bit. If you haven't already seen this, um, there is a, a better uh, visible version of it on both our Twitter and on the Discord chat. So check it out if you haven't seen it. It's just, it's just so wonderful. I love it so much. I know, Pumice has decided to lay right in front of the camera, but that's okay for the moment. So, <laughs> so inside the card, we have cutouts of a whole bunch of beautiful cats. 
and it says, Hi, Bubba. Dear Mr. A and DJ, I want to share with you how much of an inspiration Kitten Academy has been. There are 16 pictures in this card of all the little kitties that I have rescued and rehomed in the last two months. I started when I saw how much of an impact you have on kittens' lives. I never would have been brave enough to do it without Kitten Academy. Of course, I had to keep a few of these kitties, too. I don't mind being a foster fail for a few of these special fur balls. Thank you so much for everything, but especially for your help with my sweet kitten, Bambi. You guys have such kind hearts. Thank you. Love, Melody, a.k.a. Melody Doll. Melody Dolly, actually, is what it says here, but I think it's Melody Doll on Discord, right? Yeah. There's no Y. Yeah. So, Melody Dolly. Okay, Thomas, I'm going to have to ask you to move because I have to show these pictures to the camera. Maybe that. Can you guys see all that? Yeah. So those are all the kittens that Melody Doll has rescued lately, and this is that beautiful artwork. And I think that. Oh, did you see that jump? Did you see that? Oh, oh my goodness! Floss has jumped. An actual jump. She was all four feet off the ground there. I saw it. I know, Fawcett, that's amazing. Melody Doll, I love this art. We're going to find a tiny frame, and I am going to keep this someplace special because I just adore this. Thank you so much. Some of the art that we get, I've, now i got to try to get this back in here without making it stick to this plastic. Um, we we treasure all of the art that people send us quite a bit. In fact, uh, we've got another, that, that um, image of, Tahini is framed on DJ's desk. Um, we've got those uh, pictures from uh, Zana that are framed, and we haven't hung them up yet, but we can see them very nicely framed. Um, we've got that stuff from Uchan. Uh, who did those sketches of the illustrations for the Wombat stories that are on the board? Um, Cordless Neelum. Oh, yeah. Cordless, Cordless Neelum, yes. Oh, yes. All fantastic stuff. We get so much art. And all the people I didn't yeah, mention, too. Oh yeah, Umbra Love, yes. It's all it's all so wonderful. We just we treasure that so much. And you know, I did say don't send us stuff for us, send us stuff for the cats, but if you send us art, we're never I mean that's that's, that's definitely an exception. No, you don't have to. You don't have to send us anything. But uh but wow it's wonderful. It's so wonderful. Anyway, all right. So here we have a card uh, addressed to Kitten Academy, and it's got um, a really cute cat wearing a hat on the uh, on the post on the sorry the return address. On the back it says "Little Hello" with a bird. And let's just see what we've got in here. It says "Chase your dreams with a paisley horse." And then on the inside it says, Dear Mr. A, DJ, and the students of Kitten Academy, I discovered your YouTube channel a couple of weeks ago, about a week before Pumice gave birth to her kittens. I have had so much fun watching Wash, Ducky, Bubbles, Fawcett, and Tubby grow. I think what you do is amazing. I hope that you continue to do this over the next couple of years. I would love to come and visit you guys someday and maybe even adopt one of your cats. I just wanted to say I love what you guys do. Give the Bath Time Kittens and Pummy a hug from me. Love, Corley. P.S. Sorry for my sloppy handwriting. I'm only 11. Uh -huh. <laughs> your handwriting is great, and you are an excellent writer for being 11, Corley. I hope I'm saying your name right and that it is Corley and that I'm not just getting that wrong because of uh, your handwriting, which is not bad. It's not bad. Uh, maybe it is. It could be. It could be Corley. It could be Carly, but there's not much of a little uh, tail on the A. And Corley, Corley usually puts big tails on the A's. I was getting there. <laughs> so, so I think it's Corley. Uh, Corley, thank you so much for writing to us. It's such a sweet, sweet card. Um, and uh, I'm glad that you are enjoying watching the bath kittens grow up. Boy, they are just getting to the age right now where they are all over the room, and it's hard to know where to put the cameras so that you can keep watching them all the time. 
So um, I just let me say to everybody that we are going to make an effort to arrange the cameras so that, uh, so that we, we get the best possible coverage of the room and you can continue to watch them all the time. We'll do what we can. Uh, I see, by the way, that we have a junior camera editor. I saw, I pointed that out. The little kitty is so cute. And it says Corley's name on it, too. Oh, Corley, those are some nice return stickers. You must be a big letter writer. Oh, hi. Hi, Bubbles. No bubble fiends. Okay. Oh, they're being so cute right now, and they're running all over. Okay, here we have a letter from Singapore, and it's not addressed to us. It is addressed to the canine cordiality officer, Elsie. So this looks very interesting. We'll have to see what business uh, Elsie has with Singapore. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I know. Is that an invitation to a wedding? <laughs> no, it says, wishing you a happy and prosperous New Year. Well, Singaporean New Year, I would have said. It looks like an Indian wedding invitation. It does look like an Indian wedding invitation. It's so maybe, beautiful. I think maybe the yes, it does. Yes. Oh, wow, look how beautiful this is, too. So it says, uh, Dear Elsie, 2018 is the year of the dog again, so it seemed appropriate to send you this New Year card to thank you for all your hard work and patience in doing such a great job in a very feline-centric environment. Wishing you, DJ, Mr. A, and the other faculty, and all the kitties, mom, cats, and pseudo-mom cats at the Academy an abundantly happy and prosperous 2018. And then it says uh, a phrase that I'm going to translate as Gong Z Fok Fok Kai. Gong Z Fok Kai. And it is signed Andy and Wendy with a, a cute little Hello Kitty sticker. Beautiful. And I love this. And this little piece of uh, probably not real jade <laughs> on this, uh, this cute little knotwork and uh, the tassels and stuff. It's beautiful. And then it does, of course, say something here in uh, Chinese that I could not even hope to translate or pronounce because um, it's in the, the uh, what do you call the Chinese alphabet? Um, I don't even know. I don't know. There's got to be a word for it that I'm just missing right now. Anyway, it's beautiful. Thank you so much, Andy and Wendy. Um, what a great card, and I'm sure Elsie appreciates the, the kind thoughts. It is her year, the year of the dog. We won't give it to her because she'll just eat it. Probably. She might eat it. I don't know. She's pretty gentle. She would probably just turn up her nose. Or you're running, and your mom is running after you. She would probably just look at it and wonder why it had no peanut butter. <laughs> I don't see an address. Andy and Wendy, thank you so much. That is such a cool card, too. I just, I love seeing things that are from uh, other countries and other cultures, and uh, it's always just a little piece of the world that comes right into our house. Okay. Uh, I know, the way that you wrote that is really cool. Um, it's all sort of calligraphy. All right. So uh, I do know what this is. This is from Travis, even though there is no note. Travis made a point of telling me that this was coming and that he forgot to put on a note. That's uh, Travis on the Discord chat for our Patreon people. And uh, it is... It's collars. Oh safety, it's safety cat collars with bows for the twins, Fawcett and... Uh, um, Tubby, thank you, Fawcett and Tubby. I always have trouble with Tubby's name and Bubbles' name for some reason. Like, they just don't want to come into my head. Speaking of, Fawcett is over there um, playing with the camera, so if it's loud or you see the shaking, that's, that's Fawcett doing that. Hi, Fawcett. Yes, you came over. So, so, yes, when you're very big. So I was talking to Travis about this online. I said, Travis, I don't think 
these are going to fit. In fact, even collars that are sold specifically to be kitten-sized collars will not fit kittens that are this size. Like these guys are smaller than any collar that's on the market anywhere. So, um, so Travis knew. Yeah, Travis knew that, that was going to be a thing, and he said, "Well, you can just save it until they're big enough." And so that's what we'll do. But I just I want to illustrate now, since the collars are here and the kittens are here, um, exactly exactly what kind of a size difference we're talking about. So first I'm going to set this to the very smallest it will go. This is it right here. This is as small as it can possibly be set. And then we're going to take Fawcett, who's running around like a mad kitty. Oh, why did you just hit her? Is it because of the bells? And then I'm going to put the collar on her and show you. First off, it's adorable. The the bow tie collars oh, are the cutest it. thing I've ever seen. They are so cute. But not only will it slip right over her head, like I could probably slip it all the way down over her waist. <laughs> so not quite ready for it yet, but we'll put these aside and uh, they'll definitely get to wear them later. These are so cute. I just love the bow tie thing. It's so cute. Yes, Travis, thank you so much. Uh, just a little bit big for these kittens right now. Yeah, we'll send it home with them. They'll wear it someday. And we do have a bunch of a stock of kitten-sized collars that we will put on the twins as soon as they're big enough. Yeah, they're, they're not even big enough for the kitten-sized collars yet. So when they get just a little bit bigger, we'll put those on, and then you'll be able to use that to help them the car. We'll do that. How did this happen? We got Bubbles up here on top of the cheese playing with the, the six kitten toy. Oh, now she's concerned because there's a hole. Wine Bubbles, it's champagne again. Winey Bubbles is champagne. Okay, sorry, I was just taking that picture that I just took of Bubbles and put, putting it on the Discord chat real quick, so. Okay, where were we? Uh, okay, we're, we're getting towards the end of the mailbag already. This is actually, I gotta be honest, it's kind of nice um, to have the, the smaller mailbags. It gives uh, DJ and I, you know, I think it's nice for everybody. We had a lot of people complain that our two-hour mailbags were too long, and uh, now there's nothing to complain about. Plus, it gives DJ and I a chance to go do other things with our morning. Uh, for instance, I think after we're done with this mailbag, DJ is going to make me go clean out the closet in the bedroom, which is fine um, because I'm going to help her with that. And then in exchange, she doesn't know this yet, but she's going to help me clean out the closet in the basement. So it's all fair, right? Anyway, here we have a package. Actually, I should have said this before I opened it. Uh, it's from Dragon Maker, as we can tell from the little drawn cats that are on all Dragon Maker's mm -hmm. uh, mails that we get. Bye. But it's not addressed to us, either. It's addressed to Loganberry. Loganberry. It is. It's very special. And on the back, it says, thanks to all you wonderful postal workers, which is so sweet. Um... Those of you that are a little bit newer to the Kitten Academy mailbag may not know our postal worker Candy um, is sort of a celebrity and uh, um, so gets a lot of fan mail and stuff from the people that write to us. So here's a dragon wing from Dragon Maker for Loganberry. It's beautiful. And uh, if you're not familiar with these yet, oh, it is a giraffe. <laughs> yes, it's so cute. It matches. Um, if, uh, if, if you're not familiar with these dragon wings, then you probably have never watched Kitten Academy because we've been getting quite a few of these to come through our mailbag. Um, but they are catnip-filled dragon wings. Uh, they're made by Dragon Maker, and that uh, dragon spelled the usual way, but Maker spelled M-A-K-R. And uh, you can also look for Sleeping Dragon South or uh, Dragon Maker with uh, M-A-K-R on Etsy. And you can order these dragon wings, and they are always a hit. I do recommend them. Uh, dragon Maker's Etsy also has a bunch of other really cool stuff, like uh, these stuffed cats that we've got one of. Oh, and there's another card in here.
but the website scratched out. So apparently what you want to look for is Etsy.com slash shop slash dragon M-A-K-R. Um, and not so much for Sleeping Dragon South, according to this. But there's a business card. And uh, let's see. Always, uh, Dragon Maker always does this where uh, she writes to us. And, and I think her handwriting is very pretty. But then she also includes a typed out translation so that I don't have to try to deal with the handwriting. Very thoughtful. Very, very thoughtful. Uh, Dear Mr. A and DJ, after watching Logan Bean go after the last package I sent on one of the mailbags I missed, uh, I was away for the 217 mailbag, it seemed like a good idea to send him one of his very own. Yes, I did send wings for all the faculty last spring, but I know that at least one of them went home with song, and it's possible some others wandered away as well. It's been an absolute delight to see the bath kittens playing with their mother's wing. I'm sure they'll each get their own when they're a little older. Thank you for sharing these sweeties with us. It's so much fun to watch teeny little Bean grow into strong kittens. Be well. Catherine the Dragon Maker, along with Emma, Toffee, Cosette, and Alfaba. Thank you so much for sending this. The dragon wings are always a hit, and they do tend to sort of wander off. I feel like the one, the last one that was kind of Logan Berry going to Bob and the Hedge, right? That sounds but right. Could he be. was the one that kept sleeping on it in the bathroom with the bubble bath. So uh, that wing has been very popular in this room, and I'm amazed that these kittens have been playing with it already because... Uh, we've never seen kittens this young that enjoy catnip, but I think it's clear that these guys do enjoy catnip. There's several other catnip toys in this room too, and they they go for all of them. Yeah, it's it's really unusual. These so these kittens, this group of kittens is the most advanced that we've ever had in so many ways. I think that they were uh, playing faster than others. They were definitely walking faster than others. They're eating now uh, faster than the others have. Um, just super advanced in every way. So uh, really a good group that Pumice has raised here. And uh, the, the love for catnip is another way that they're super advanced. And I just got licked. I just got licked by Ducky. And now I'm getting numb by Ducky. Oh, Ducky's top teeth have come in. See that? Look at that. He's got them now. They're in. So if we'll get this to Logan Berry, he's going to love it. Um, he, he does absolutely love He loves the wings. Uh, let's see. I'm getting a note here. Oh, yeah. Dragon Maker is just agreeing the bath going after the wing. It's just amazing. It is just amazing. I posted some pictures of them with the wing, but when I was taking those pictures, you can't tell from the pictures that they were seriously biting on it, wrestling with it, and it's very clearly attracted to the catnip, and it's amazing. Just amazing. I've never seen kittens this small that cared for it. Okay, uh, I've got four kittens in my lap, and I've got a giant box to open. So I guess uh, we'll see what we can do with this. kittens in my lap, and Tubby is once again in the uh, yeah. giraffe all by himself. That's fine. That's how he is. Just how he is. All right. Um, there's a bunch of packing peanuts in this box, and then uh, I don't see a note yet, so let me unpack some stuff and see if I can find a note. First off, we have some mysterious unlabeled tin, and we have what is being called a cat play tent. Although we've seen these before, they're not tents so much as they're like arches, cat play yeah. arches. Like yes, the tiny kittens do tend to like it. Now hang on, because there's definitely more in here. I just, it's just a matter of finding with all the packing peanuts and the packing material. It's very well packed. Uh, well, this is interesting. This claims to be the New English Dictionary. <laughs> we'll get to that in just a minute. It is like a mystery. There's still more buried in these packing peanuts, but still no note that I'm finding. Oh, felt food sandwich.
which is sad. <laughs> oh, that is cute. Okay, hang on though. Oh my gosh, I know what this should be for. This has to go to Maggie, doesn't it? Look at this. It's a French loaf, and you can tell it's a French loaf because of the mustache and the uh, the hat, obviously. And it's in a little bag that says, just loafing around. And you can take it out of the bag, and it says, la la, and it's wearing hard underwear. That is so ridiculous. And it's for dogs, so it's got a squeaker in it. Oh, I'm sorry, Mommy. Does that squeaker disturb you? That's so funny. <laughs> okay, there's more. DJ's still digging through the box to see what she can find, but I still don't see a note I yet. Oh, no. here. Ah, okay, we found. Oh, it says a note. <laughs> it actually says on it a note. I love it. Oh my gosh, this awesome. box is so great so it. far. Okay, uh, she also handed me a couple of other things. She handed me the Falls Church, Virginia News Press and a whole life, a whole life freeze-dried salmon fillets, also a feline greenies catnip flavor treats, and a box of 30 stir sticks, which uh, claim to be a party's best friend. Okay, so I think that she's finished all that. The rest of it is just packing peanuts and packing you have material. To eat the whole thing. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. Right. These are the cornstarch packing peanuts, the ones that are perfectly edible and just dissolve in water. They're basically like unflavored cheese poops. Um, so every now and then I will eat one of these to demonstrate how completely edible they are, but it's probably not safe for me because they're not food grade. But it hasn't killed me yet. Yes, exactly. So that's how I keep my constitution up. Okay. Well, I guess we should start with the note, even though this looks pretty interesting. Um, Washi. Washi, are you going to open the note for me? No? Okay. It says a note. So let's start here with a note. This box is great. I know. It's wonderful. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, this is from Maya Bastet and Andre and Pere, Pierre, sorry, Pierre. I'm, you know what? Just, I'm just doing what I can here. Andre and Pierre, so uh, very French. Um, the joke on here is a little bit uh, risque for the Kitten Academy, but I'm going to read it anyhow. Yeah. Bear with me. Yeah. No? Okay. I guess, I guess DJ's right. I'm going to skip the joke that's on the card. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give it to DJ. Oh, it does say on the back of the card here, it's interesting. It says, this card was written by stand-up comic, comic Adam Rotman. And uh, he says, I think society has an unfair bias against cats and cat owners. If a person has 15 dogs, they're a dog breeder or a hunter. But if a person has 15 cats, they're a hoarder or mentally ill. We have two cats, but they're both really fat, so together they equal 15 cats. I figured out that our cats have 37 distinct meows, but 29 of them mean I'm hungry, 6 mean scratch my butt, and 2 just mean meow. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty cute. Here, what do you think about this card? Should we read that? Yeah, DJ's just reading the front and is already like, no. Uh, it's cute. It is cute, but yeah, okay. Yeah, it's 50-50, right? Okay. Dear Mr. A and DJ, Hello from Northern Virginia. Now that the bath kittens are getting rambunctious, I felt like it was time to finally send some things I've been slowly accumulating for a while. The play gym is for the baths, and the rhino is for pummy. Did uh, we see a rhino? Play gym? Oh, we didn't open this. Is there a rhino in this? Oh, this is Play Gym? No, there's not, a, there's not a rhino in here. I think we missed a rhino somewhere. There might be a rhino right here. Uh, okay. The Play Gym is for the bats, and the oh, rhino is for the tummy. Play Gym. Play Gym. I, I think this rhino is a white elephant. Oh, 
wait, wait, there is something. Aha! Aha! Whoa! It says, Pets on Safari Cat Toy, and it's a little rhino pillow. It's very, very Aww. cute. That's super adorable. Okay, the play gym is for the baths. The rhino is for Pummy. Please deploy ASAP. All right, well, we will. I bet you can guess who the sandwich kit is for. Well, it could be confusing because it's technically for a dog, but yes, I know this is this is totally for uh, Maggie. No, Pummy doesn't like that. Okay, for Maggie. Play Sandwich. Oh. That's a sandwich kit. Sorry. I see. Oh, okay. I'm confused. Okay. Oh, I need more coffee, everybody. Well, so this is just for this. The bread is for Elsie. Okay. Now we're okay. So here we go. Start over. Uh, I bet you can guess who the sandwich kit is for. Clearly for Maggie. Okay. We got that. I've included some bread for Elsie, a.k.a. Wilso, I guess. Yeah, Wilso. I still don't know how we say that. Typo. I'm sorry, buddy. In case she feels left out, that's this pretty cute. We should put that in a jar with some cat for a while. Oh wow, that's huge! It's got wheat bread, white bread, and a sandwich roll, and a pita. So there's every option for bread. Then it has bologna, salami, roast beef, ham, turkey, bacon, and eggs. So there's every choice for a protein. It also includes peanut butter and jelly, American cheese. Provolone cheese, Swiss cheese, cucumber slices, pickle slices, tomato slices, onion slices, lettuce leaves, ketchup, mustard, and mayo. I love that so much. Can I play with it? Uh, you can. I believe you could make every kind of sandwich from this. And it says, helps develop sorting memory, fine motor skills, and hand-eye coordination, which yeah. as a potential surgeon, you are going to need. Yeah. You should build some sandwich kits. I think we will put this in some catnip, though, and I think that... Uh, Maggie will really appreciate that. And then Elsie is going to love this French loaf, which is so silly. Ooh la la. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I have no idea where you found something like this, but it's so funny. Okay. In the blue bag are some 3M command hooks and hanger strips, which should make it super easy for you to hang some of the wonderful art you've received, and you won't have to mess up our walls to do it. Well, look at that. That's very thoughtful of you. And they are. They're little hanging tools. Along with some instructions on how to use the universal picture hanger. I love it. Thank you so much, Maya Bastet. In the white tin, you will find some special cookies. They are all yours. Oh, my. Oh, they're poop cookies. Oh, I have to try one right now. I, oh. Wow, so uh, gingery. I think they're gingerbread cookies, but they're shaped like little poops. Hang on, I need to get a good one now. Here we go, little poop cookies. There's a whole set of those. Does that smell good to you, Pummy? Oh, Pummy's going to lick it. She licked it once. Okay, I'll finish it for her. Those are good. So thank you for the poop cookies. Okay. In the white tin, you'll find some special cookies. They're all yours. Oh, the stir sticks are for Jimmy D to help with his foam art. Oh. Since his office might never get around to ordering more for him. <laughs> that's really, that's so thoughtful of you. That's really cute. Oh my gosh, Maya Bastet. What is it called? Stir stick? And now for the dictionary. It's not a book. It's a safe. <gasps> oh, my gosh. And it's filled with cookie. It is. It's a safe, like, with a combination and everything. Wait, it's filled with cookies. It's not a book. It's a safe. And it's filled with cookies. Cookies for DJ. I've DM'd her the code for the lock. She can search her messages oh for hashtag God. CookieGate2018 to find it. <laughs> wow. Somebody is serious about the fact that I'm not going to get any more cookies out of DJ. I can't believe this the extent that you've gone to. I should have you know, though, that I am an expert lock picker. Yeah, I don't think she's going to do it. Really? Really? Are you 
can and figure it out? I bet I can. Why would you do that? Just to prove a point about cookies. What is that point? Uh, that I eat them. <laughs> This is so amazing. This is amazing. This, this, this dictionary I have safe. I cookie safe, and it's a dictionary. The dictionary that no cookie one safe. Will ever suspect. I know. This is actually really cool. I've seen like fake books before. In fact, we've got a couple in the I living really room. I thought that was a dictionary. But, but maybe I, if I've I picked it up, I would have never seen one that has an integrated safe. And this is this safe is no joke. Like this is it's a metal safe in there. It's not just some toy. And I can see a little bit of a plastic bag sticking out the corner. Like, there are cookies. So you know that there are cookies, but you cannot have. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I have the code. You told me that. Well, don't tell me the code, but you should open it up and see if they're the same cookies or if you've got different cookies. Oh, it does weigh like a dictionary. Yeah, well, probably because it's full of metal and cookies. Don't show me the code or I will open it, Susie. And it says, I've also included this a local amazing. paper. I have so many cookies that I can hide in this now. <laughs> That's it. Thanks again for all you do for the kittens and cats. Maya Bassett. Thank <gasps> you so much. This is amazing. Oh hey, my God. These are so. You need to like switch the code or something so I, I don't it. accidentally see it. Okay. Yeah, I did. Oh, what are those cookies? They smell gingery and they, they smell all nice. They're shaped like little flowers. That's so, I know. I see. I see how it is. DJ gets beautiful little flowers, and I get little dark poops. I get it. Let's just show you. You know, there's the one that's broken here. Can I? Can I try? No. It? Oh. oh, this tastes so good. These are all so So mean. mean, and I'll never even know what they taste like. Oh my gosh, this is torture. Okay, you can have one. Thank you. You get to have tiny corners. Here, puppy. These are so good. Oh, those are good. They're crunchy and good. And yeah, buttery. Buttery. Buttery and gingery, yes. They're very yummy. Oh, this is amazing. It is amazing. My best at this is so fantastic. I Thank think the game has been solved. Has it, though? Because of the safe, you mean? That's about the right size to put in a couple boxes if you took them out of the box. If the girls got cookies mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Wow. Now I will have cookies that last. I can't believe it. An actual safe for cookies. This is incredible. My best at that is incredible. That's just, that's really cool. Thank wow. you so much. And if anybody is confused about the meaning of cookie gate, uh, it's all explained in some depth in our last Q&A session, which is uploading to YouTube right now. So uh, if you want to find out about that, it should be up in just a little bit, and you can check it out and, and find out all about what the uh, cookie gate thing. Nothing to do with you. You're right. It doesn't, but the Q and A session does have a lot of stuff to do with kittens, and it's a uh, it's fun to, to yeah. watch. So I invite you to watch that. Let's put this note over here with the other notes and the newspaper as well. My best. At, I don't know how to thank you enough for the stuff you sent. It's all so wonderful. I'm going to take the uh, this stuff for Maggie and then soak it in some catnip, and then we're going to have a lot of fun with that. This will, of course, go straight to Elsie. I love this so much. I'm going to leave the rhino right here. And the gym. We have to deploy the gym. Yes, and the gym. And then I have to figure out how to take the rest of this stuff out of here. I don't want to put it back in this box, though, because this is a... Uh, it's locked. The safe. It's safe. No. Oh, goodness. I think maybe I should change the password every week. And is there instructions on how to change the Oh, wow. I should. I mean, I'm just, I'm just being responsible here. Oh, nice. Bubbles, you're so cute. Oh, ginger and orange cookies. Not homemade, sorry. Yours are? Um, yeah, huh, I didn't really taste the orange in there, but I'll try it yeah, again. Oh, good. I guess I won't try it again because they're locked up. They're 
Hey, you know who probably would like one of these? Bummy does like trees. Thomas. Thomas. Oh, wow, that's got some strong salmon scent. Thomas is back in the litter box, but I'm going to give her one of these in just a minute. You want to chew on this, Bubby? Thomas. Tommy, come here. Thomas. Thomas, come here. What are you doing in the litter box? You just made your mess. I know. We saw it. We smelled it. Here, Pummy. Does that, that smell good? You want to try it? Yeah, because when the kittens get bigger, it becomes kind of unstable. Well, also, they, yeah, they'll accidentally sort of drag it around the room and stuff because it's so light. But uh, I bet they'll be fine with it for a while. Yeah. Oh, do you like that, Pummy? There's another half of it right here. Oh, she does like that, yes. The gym is for you to work out. Oh, yeah. You can put it right in the middle. Yeah, it won't block yeah. the camera. That's yeah, nice. That's cool. I mean, this is for you. I know, but I think that's the kind of thing I wanted. Something that was hanging and moving on its own. <laughs> it's so frustrating. She's it's trying to get, yeah, she's bubbles is trying to get in this blue bag. There's nothing in there for you, Bubba. Bubble. Hey, Bubba, you look like him. What are you doing out here, kids? No, they don't seem to care much right now. They probably just stop around. I'll walk around. Oh, I bet if we put the food too close to it, this will end up all over the food. <laughs> She'll just drag it over. <laughs> wow, thank you. Thanks to everybody, and uh, thanks to Maya Bastet for this amazing stuff. Oh, and uh, whatever Mia Cat sent for custard still hasn't turned up, has it? Okay, maybe next week. Something to look forward to. Oh, your face is so beautiful, I can't stand it. No. That's not the face size that you're looking at. It was. Uh-huh. Well, folks, oh, um... Who is in here? Is this Bubbles? I am going to... Bubbles is wrestling. Oh, with the creepy reindeer. Yeah, I should get a picture of that. It's wrestling with it. She's pushing it out. Give me a bubble. You're so good at this bubble. Give me a bubble. Bubble. Anyway, I was just about to say, uh, I'm going to end the archive of the mailbag right now. So those of you that are watching this later, thanks for tuning in. And uh, those of you that are watching live, you don't have to go anywhere. Or maybe you do. Oh. You have to go to the grocery. Or clean a closet. Yeah.